originally from the Valley, so her parents are here. Time now for part two of my conversation with Acadia Axe Women Rugby Head Coach Matt Durant as they get ready to host the Atlantic University Sport Rugby Championship on Wednesday, October 26th. What will preparations be like and what kind of things will you and the team do over the next week to get ready for that championship game? Yeah, you know, both both the potential teams we could play, uh, play a similar style, the very forwards driven, very physical, very good, uh, trying to steal the ball, very opportunistic. So uh, we'll be working a lot at, uh, you know, our, our support play, heightened contact, and uh, just preparing for what we know is going to be a very, very physical game no matter who we play. All university coaches have to deal with graduating senior players. So you're always having to bring in rookies and integrate younger players into the scheme. What's that been like for you and the squad this year? Yeah, we graduated a lot of, uh, of very senior players last year. We had really, really probably one of the deepest teams we've ever had there last season. So uh, there's always big shoes to fill. You know, we ever, never use the term uh, rebuilding year. <laughs> you know, we use sport. There's uh, students leaving every year, it seems. So um, this is a year where we had uh, a much bigger opportunity for freshmen coming in and then for some people to step up. And you just have to adjust every year. If there's new leaders, uh, you know, that uh, step into leadership roles. And, and we've been lucky this year to have some great uh, senior leadership on our team that we've kind of picked up the ball from last year and, and kept moving forward. And as they move forward, the Acadia Axe women will be looking for their second ever AUS women's rugby title. In Halifax, I'm Scott Squires for the Atlantic Sportswire. And you, I believe the final game of